this is TalkPod A36 Plus. This is also TalkPod A36 Plus. These two radios are not the same. Stay tuned for more. Hello guys, this is Linus Limo Yankee 2 Hotel. Welcome to my Two Pine Trees radio equipment testing fields. Today I'm talking about TalkPod again. You might remember one of my other videos where I've been reviewing the TalkPod A36 Plus. The verdict was not very good for this radio because this radio was not suitable for ham radio 2 meter band. It was suitable for GMRS as advertised, but not for ham radio. And then I received another radio, another TalkPod A36 Plus from the company on the condition that I, I will do a, another uh, honest and unbiased review, as I always do. Despite the same name, A36 Plus, you can, you can see it on the, on the back of the radio and everywhere, uh, this is not the same TalkPod as this one. So, this time I got it in the transparent case but this is doesn't matter uh, this is not the same radio uh, when you connect it to the computer you see the full name of it TalkPod A36 plus 8 watt radio and this is a sign that this is new model of the radio and that's true this radio is more powerful this radio got bulky powerful 3.2 amp hours battery which is very nice and it feels good in your palm, you see. Let's check the harmonics with my tiny spectrum analyzer. This is most most important question everybody want to get an answer to because, you know, it depends. It depends whether you can use it or you can't on two meters. For the harmonic tests, uh, we need to have one radio, one spectrum analyzer, uh, one attenuator, at least, you know, 40 dB. In my case, this is 10 watts, 40 dB attenuator uh, for the wide range of frequencies from DC to 3 gigahertz. And it works very nice. The antenna socket here on the radio is uh, kind of a specific SMA type. So it's a male SMA. So you need the adapter from uh, from male to female SMA and then to the the male end of SMA cable. All right. So now we have the setup. I put the tiny SA into a GMRS radio box just to have you know a little bit covered from uh, from the light coming from above. We need to go to menu. Then we need to choose harmonic. Now we must enter the frequency of fundamental so let's say it's gonna be 146 megahertz as a kind of a middle of ham radio band good compromise for both north america and europe zero megahertz let's switch the radio on so in this model I got, uh, it seems that it came with the uh, frequency range open, so to say. I can en enter the 2 meter frequency or any frequency just straight from the keyboard. 146, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and my frequency is set. Well, let's see if I transmit. Okay, you see? It goes, the, the LED goes red and you see here that it's, it, it transmits. Uh, my spectrum analyzer is calibrated at home, so let's go. So the spectrum analyzer is scanning. Wow, that's pretty nice. And you see on the, on the top right corner it's minus 57 dbc minus 57 dbc so it means the second harmonic this tiny blob here number two spike number two is minus 57 dbs lower than the carrier so minus 57 dbc 
That's a very good result. The Talkport A36 Plus new version of it is good for 2 meter ham radio operation. So the local guy is talking on local frequency. I've been transmitting on two meters and it seems that you know the, the radio is really is really transmitting very nice I was received very well uh, the distance was in one case was 15 kilometers in other case it was maybe some six or seven kilometers between the mobile station and me uh, so that, that's good that, that's good talk what is doing now talk what is doing its job good uh, let's measure the power output of the radio for that we need to go to menu we need to choose frequency so let's see if we see something we see very nice signal minus 0.7 dBm so now we have to do some math because we are we are running uh, the we are using 40 dB's attenuator connected and so in order to have the more or less meaningful readings uh, on the tiny SA screen we need to we need to do something more with the menu setup and to do some math you know to incorporate the 40 dB's attenuation into the readout on, on the screen of the tiny SA we need to go to level and we need you know to choose the external gain and we need to enter the external gain so that's gonna be minus 40 dBs let's take a measurement now all right so we see 38 dBm 38 dBm it's almost 8 watts of power to measure the power output on 70 centimeters ham radio band and on the GMRS bands I quickly jumped back to my shack and used the analog SWR and power meter because my tiny SA spectrum analyzer turns to be not calibrated yet on this high input all right so now it's ham radio band high power and high power means reads around six a bit more than six watts probably so and now if we dial in the 1 of the frequencies for GMRS all right so here we see around 8 watts of power great so we've done the measurements we, we, we've measured harmonics we've measured power everything looks very nice the new talkport a36 plus is really plus in in, in the way that it's got fixed the problem with, with the high harmonics on two meter ham radio band and now we have a very versatile tiny and cheap radio uh, so with powerful battery and what is especially convenient with this uh, radio is a new type of battery with charger incorporated in it so the usb charger is incorporated in it so and you can charge it easily from 5 volts bus so uh, for me in my camper van and my ham radio van it's very convenient because you know i have 5 volts so to say bus installed for all for all my needs you know for my ipad iphone and whatever you know, another tablet so and thus in this way i can connect my 5 volts usb-c charger cord which is supplied with the radio all right so you see the red led is glowing so i'm charging my battery very very successfully it will take you know maybe some hour or two to replenish it you can actually take the battery off disconnect it from the radio and it's still gonna be charged you know no problems and uh, i can i can take my spear battery you know connect to the radio and wait up till this this one will be will be charged so 
uh, very very convenient and this is really not all walkie-talkie radios have this feature have this function and i think this is really worthwhile mentioning in the in the review as a great bonus as a great plus for this radio this is a very versatile radio wide range of receiving frequencies this radio also includes the fm broadcast you know service you can listen to the radio Thank you, bye bye. Yeah, pretty nice copy of airport service. And the tower and, and the crew conversation. So, if you understand, you know, the meaning so far, what they talk, that could be a very good feature, you know, to monitor the airport services, watch airplanes, monitor airbands, and that's that's another kind of hobby, isn't it? Officials have warned that Iran could attack Israel as soon as today. So, in for last week's at the moment, the I've chosen on VFOA the airband frequency, just, you know, listening to the to the conversations of, of my local airport Belgium services. And on VFOB, I've chosen the broadcast FM radio, the BBC World Service. The radio now is monitors always the airband, 118.2 MHz frequency on VFOA. But the radio is on squelch, and when it's on squelch, I can listen to the FOB, uh, which is now, you know, transmitting the BBC news for me. If uh, suddenly a signal appears on uh, the FOA, uh, so the radio will jump, will switch to this frequency as, as soon as the squelch, you know, is overcome by the signal. You see? So, the radio switch automatically to, to the air band. Well, dramatically and then, you know, if you do nothing, the when the air band, the, there's no signal on the air band, and, and you do nothing, the radio comes back to the regime it was before. So, broad, broadcast on VFOB and air band in waiting the regime on VFOA. If you switch the squelch off, so you can only listen to VFOA, the broadcast radio won't, won't go, won't, won't be heard, you know, the radio won't listen to it, because the radio will think that your main frequency, whatever it is on VFOA, is engaged and there, there's a signal on it and won't allow you to listen to the, to the broadcast stations. So the menu is easy to operate, uh, all these settings, of course, could be done uh, on your computer, on your PC. There's a nice, nice cable supplied. The necessary level adapter is included here. Uh, the, the chip is in this and uh, in this thick end of the cable. So all you need to do is just, you know, to connect one end of the cable to the speaker mic of, on your radio, the other end on into the USB socket on on your computer. Uh, you can uh, run the TalkPod software, which you can download from, from their website, or I like the Chirp program, uh, which is more versatile, more universal, there's more choice, you know, in, in downloading frequencies of different services, which you can uh, upload then onto your radio, and well, and, and that also works uh, pretty nice. In the box supplied, you also have the desktop charger, you also have the, the wall charger, you have the USB-C cable for the charging. It's uh, also supplied the belt clip, so which is, I haven't fixed it yet, but it fixes in the same way as on the old A36 Plus. You can even carry your radio on your wrist because a wrist strap is also included into the package. The Tiny SA is not included into the package. You need to buy it separately, guys. That's the story about TalkPod A36 Plus. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like my videos. I would be very, very grateful for that. Uh, please leave your comments in the comment section so 
What do you think about this Stockport A36 Plus? The new version of it, which is suitable for ham radio bands too, not only for GMRS. What kind of uh, frequencies would you like you know, to listen to mostly, except of probably ham radio bands? Uh, so do you listen often to the air band? Do you listen often to the weather channels? Tell me, tell me in the, in the comment section. That's always interesting to learn. That's it for today. Thanks for watching again. See you in my next videos. 73. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Cheerio!